Hi, this is Johnny. I'm going to show you how to increase the SD card. Uh, I burned the 32 gig on a 128 SD card. And the problem is I can I want to increase the size. Uh, this is created in the Linux uh, emulator, which is Bartonson image 32 gig uh, version 36. It I wanted to increase the size, but at this moment I can't well, there's like three different ways you could try it. But this is the third way, and this is the, the Linux uh, way to do this. Uh, I'm going to use the G part to increase it. So I'm going to put this into the laptop. You need to ins insert it into the laptop first. And this one is already plug, uh, pressed in. Okay, so it's going to boot to this uh, SD card instead of to my Windows 10. So when you first turn it on, you're gonna keep on press the escape button, okay? Now watch the top of the screen. That's when uh, it's already showing something at the bottom, but you just keep on pressing the escape button. Okay, so now the top is showing something. And now you're gonna press F9, F9 for the system to boot to, boot to uh, device option, okay? So you're gonna press F9 on your keypad, then you're gonna press the arrow key down and you're gonna select the, the USB because it's recognized my USB and that's the one I'm gonna boot up to. And now it means the compatible 64 bit. I mean, compatible mode. And then this will boot up to uh, Linux. Now, since I have the SD card already put in here, it's going to recognize my SD card. And then I'm going to, uh, in the command line, type in, in the terminal, I'm gonna type in uh, gpod, and I haven't done it for a while, so. Okay, so I'm gonna type in g, and then, and it's right there, gpod. Okay, so I just type in g, and it will already recognize it, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Okay, do you saw what I just did? I don't know if my screen was clear, okay. So I went to here, and then I say device, and then I picked this one, the 100, the 128. One, they always say 119, but it's 128 gig. So I picked that one, and now I have this other space that is not being used, okay. And this one is the one that they, this is the boot partition that the uh, uh, e Egret 2 Mini to increase the, the space. So I went and unmount that device and then I'm going to resize it and move. Press the button. And then I'm going to drag this all the way across so I utilize all the space. Okay, so that was successfully done. So now I have that much, that much space, like three times more space into that SD card. And then Apply all. Okay, it's completed. All right, so I'm just going to close it. Uh, I don't have to save any detail, I'm just gonna close it. All right, I'm just gonna, I just quit and I'm just going to uh, 
power it down and do a shutdown and then we're going to boot up to the window 10 and then we're going to see uh, if that partition is being uh, configured into a n a g e r manager and we're just going to open up the disk manager storage and let's see if we could assign a dry letter to it so we could actually add stuff to it i don't think we'll hurt it by adding a dry letter so let's add a dry letter to my to this one uh, i guess call it d is fine so we're going to go ahead and close this all the file is still there the rom and everything okay and there's some check file, the co-opted file that were, it came over from the previous image. So I'm gonna delete those check file. And I think this is a, another hidden file in here, a folder, but we cannot see it. to the system and see if we could uh, see if, if the system will recognize even though we already we added a dry letter on this SD card All right, so we have a 128 gigabyte SD card is already uh, extended to a, a bigger so we're gonna pop it into the other machine and we're gonna see if if it will work And we're also going to plug in a mouse and keyboard so we could configure the using the the main all right the blue button press the blue button and go all the way down to the bottom okay press the blue button go right on the bottom and then from there let me see if I could focus more then you're gonna press the A button then you're going to change the Spanish to English, USA, US. If you UK, you can put UK. I'm putting English. And then press B, B, and it will reboot by itself. Okay. And now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the vertical game. So we are going to flip it vertically. Right. And we're going to go to the vertical thing. And we're going to press. Got out the game. Alright, so I need to go into the computer and check out what file that I need to modify to make this work.